in this video, I will show you how to create histogram and Pareto charts in Microsoft Excel. When do we use histogram or Pareto chart? We use this if we need to display distributions of our data. Like for this example, I have the list of names from row number two up to row 1035, that's around 1000 plus list of name of employees. And then over here, we have the height in inches. We also have the weight in pounds. And lastly, we have their age. Now, let's say, for example, I want to find out the age group for this list of employees. Or let's say I want to create a histogram that will display the height distribution or weight distribution for each employees. How do we do that? First, we need to select the column of the age that's under column D. Then you can go to insert tab. If, for example, histogram is not present in the given icon set, you can actually click on the recommended charts. We have two tabs here. We have the recommended and the all charts. Let me select all charts. And over here down below, we have the histogram. When you click on the histogram, here's an example of histogram that Excel will plot to your spreadsheet. So if you're done, just click OK. And here now we have the histogram. So what do we have in the histogram area? We have a Y and X axis. For the Y axis, we have the value of population. For the x-axis, we have the age group. Let me stretch this one a little bit for me to see it clearly. So that's around 20 up to around 49 plus age group. Okay. To make this more clear, you can add a title for the histogram. So can we type here age group? something like that. You can also add labels at the top of the bars so that we can determine visually the population based on the age group. So how do we add data labels? We can simply click on the chart, go to the sign tab, and click on the add chart element. Under add chart element, we have here the data labels. Select outside end. Okay, so that's around 17 value of population for 20.9 up to 22.4, as you can see on the first bar. For the rest of the bar, it is defined. And according to this histogram, the most value that we have per age group is 165. And that is for 25.9 for up to 26.9 inch group. If you want to compress the value of your histogram by X axis, we can actually change the bean value. We call this bean value. You can actually double click on your X axis. And then over here we have the bean width. By default, the bean width has an interval of 1.5. Let's say for example, instead of 1.5, Let's use number three and press enter. That means each group will have a value of three as interval instead of 1.5. And also, as you can see, histogram is compressed within this chart area. Now, going back to this X axis, so the largest population in this histogram is 315 that is under the age group of 23.9 up to 26.9. You can actually 
create a Pareto chart coming from this histogram example. So how do we generate a Pareto chart? Simply, we can copy paste this data. And if you want to convert this to Pareto chart, click this chart area and go to Design tab. Under Design tab, click Change Chart Type. And under Change Chart Type, we have Histogram. Select the second icon. We call it Pareto Chart. Pareto Chart is also used for distribution chart. So click OK. Notice the difference between the two chart. As you can see, the data is not arranged this time from lowest to highest age. The data is actually arranged based on low, uh, largest to lowest value of population. Okay, so we have 315 at the leftmost area. That is the age group of 23.9 to 26.9. Next. We have zero on the rightmost area that is within the age group of 44.9 up to 47.9. We can add more details for this histogram by just selecting the design tab and we can simply select different chart styles available to make it more clear. Okay, now let me have one more set of example. Let's say I want to create histogram for the height group and the weight group. So for the height group, select all this column, all the data in the column B, and then you go to insert, recommended charts, and then we can select here all charts, histogram. Okay, let me, let me click OK button. Right now, for this histogram, as you can see, we have some items skipped. This is because we don't have any population on the data of 71 to 71.8 and 75 to 75.8 inches for the height. Okay, so let me change the title. This is height distribution. Now, in order to get rid of this blank areas, you can actually change the value of the bin by using double click. And then we go to bin width. Instead of 0.8, let us choose again number three. Type number three and press enter. Mm, let me try 1.5. Try to use one. All right. So let me use one for the bin width. As you can see, we have here the height distribution value. Okay. Now, let's have our last example. One last example for the weight. Insert. Recommended chart. As you can see under recommended chart, it also has recommended charts for histogram and Pareto chart. So let me use the recommended histogram, click OK. Zoom in, then highlight. So this one, let's change the title. The title is weight distribution. Let me change the bin value. So by default, the bin width is 7.3. Let's try to use 8. All right, um, let me try 10. I think 10 will do. Okay, so for the bin width of the weight distribution, I use 10. And then for the bin width of height distribution, we choose 1. Lastly, let me add some data labels to make this more clear. Click on the chart, you go to Design tab, Add Chart Element, and let's go to Data Labels, Outside End. 
And lastly, for the weight distribution, click on the sign tab, add chart element, data labels, outside end. Okay. And this is now your histogram. And that is how we can create histogram in Microsoft Excel.